Hey everyone, it's Tuesday. I'm Lori. It's your new Tuesday and I'm really excited about being Tuesday and I thank you all so much for your warm welcome and all your congratulatory messages and everything. You just, you don't, you, I, I just want you to know I'm completely grateful and I'm so honored and I was totally excited to be chosen for Tuesday because I know what I was up against and all you people are pretty amazing. So I'm really excited to hopefully help all of you little baby beavers out because mama's done a lot of living. I've made a lot of mistakes in my in my, my many years and I like to think that you improve from it and you learn from it and I've learned from myself and I know that there's a lot of mistakes that I've made that I would rather someone else have made and just kind of like told me about it so that I didn't have to make them. So that's what I'm hoping to do for some of you out there who can benefit from my mistakes and trust me I'm still making them so you know from now on I can be like oh man I just have to make this mistake so that people can learn I am that nice I will do that for you so rest assured I am here making all my mistakes I'm gonna tell you all about them because I have very little shame like I I'm really goofy and so hopefully you'll see that more and as I kinda get to know all of you better and you get to know me better maybe you'll be seeing more of that Okay, sorry, I'm like a little nervous and, you know, there's, I just feel like there's a, a very, very high bar and there's a lot to live up to and I know that a lot of people are kind of feeling me out like, ooh, will I like her, will I not, will I, ooh, ooh. I just really feel like there's a lot of anticipation around my first video. I feel like I'm going on a blind date, but like times 2,000, so, <laughs> um, hi, I'm Lori, I'll be dating your daughter, no, I'm kidding, uh, but I just, I do feel like there's a lot of pressure this week just because everyone's checking out the new girl and I feel very vulnerable right now and I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to really enjoy this and I hope that you're really going to enjoy me so we can be best friends. <laughs> I always joke about this but it's kind of true. Um, I always think that strangers are friends waiting to happen. <laughs> Seriously. I probably get it from my dad. He's really talkative like that and he'll just talk to anyone. Oh, so yeah, that's a good segue into my family. I'm the youngest of three. Uh, I have an older brother and an older sister, and my brother and his wife just had a baby, so I have a nine-month-old nephew, and I love, I love him, I love him, I love him so much. And then my sister, um, I'm in Michigan, my sister lives in Arizona, so I'm going to see her next month, and I'm super excited. I was born in Michigan, I lived in Tennessee for about eight years, and then, oh, I guess I lived in Texas too, but I don't even remember it. I was like crawling, I, I don't have a memory of it. But apparently it's really good to learn how to crawl in Texas because I guess those little fire ants biting at your feet or your knees like make you want to go like hell. Let's think, what else do you want to know about you? Da, 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 da. I, I love music. Everyone loves music. If I really like I like music that makes me dance, I like music that has substance to it and some kind of musicality, but I also like the top 40 stuff that's like whatever, I just really like it. And I really like musicals, musical theater I love. I was in plays and stuff in high school and I was like the biggest nerd about it and show choir and band and everything, so I play the trumpet, I don't speak another language, I'm trying to think of all these things that people like have asked. I. I, uh, I graduated from college, I just moved, and right now I don't have the internet, and <laughs> so I'm like, oh, having some withdrawals there, but, <laughs> so I don't have the internet, I don't have cable, we're not even supposed to have electricity, but we have a handyman who kind of rigged it, so shh, don't tell anyone. Just a lot of things getting ready for my new place. I put together a TV stand. I was feeling pretty butch, so, you know, I had an Allen wrench going, I was hanging some pictures with the mail, and what else? I I do drag. Uh, ooh, the new Tuesday does drag, I don't know. Like my parents and my brother do not know about that. Uh, I kind of felt it out. I, like, mentioned that this guy did drag, and my parents were like, oh, that's silly, and so I just kind of never really told them that I do it, but I enjoy it. Maybe I'll show you some pictures. Here's some pics right here. 
Oh, I could answer this week's question too, I guess. X, X's. Oh my god. Uh, I have X's. I have, like, you can have them. I have X's. You can just take them. Uh, <laughs> the questions are about being friends post breakup. I just, there needs to be a buffer period at least. Like, the only, the only one of my exes that I'm friends with, we didn't talk for like two years after we dated. I just, I have had bad luck with it, and now they've all moved away, and incidentally to the same city, so it's kind of like house arrest, like, you know, when they put criminals or, you know, people in, un, under house arrest, it's like, you just don't go into that house, that's how I kind of feel about the city that all my exes are in, just kind of, just don't go there. I have had psycho ex-girlfriends, too. I actually... If you've ever went to uh, UrbanDictionary.com, it kind of just, it's very un-PC, but, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of amusing. It's for entertainment purposes. If you look up Psycho Dico, I came up with that, coined it, put it in there, um, use, use at will, spread it across the world like rainwater. Um, <laughs> Psycho Dico, seriously. Uh, so I've dealt with that. I have a rule, I'm not living with a girlfriend ever. I never have, never will. Not until, not until it's like commitment ceremony. Like seriously, <laughs> something's got to give because I don't think that it's good to live with, I don't think that it's good to live together. That whole youth U-Haul thing, I know that it works. I know, or I know that it's like what lesbians want to do. It's like the urge to merge. I, I've watched L Word, I've seen Bet and Tina, whatever. But I just, not for me, not for me, and rightfully so. You need an escape, like you need you need time apart until you know that you're gonna be together for evs. So that's my advice. I'm just really looking forward to Tuesdays, and I really hope that you are too. So please tune in, and I will talk to you later. Have a good week.